Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 8th of October 2022. I hope you are keeping well and enjoying your weekend. I certainly am. Uh, I'm just back after having a humongous lunch which include which included uh, sea bass in fish sauce uh, which you've never tried I'm sure unless you've been to Thailand. It's a very unusual kind of dish. Very nice. Uh, and uh, amongst other many many other things and uh, that's the reason why only one pair of trousers now fits out of six pairs of smart trousers that I have only one pair actually fits <laughs> that kind of food is the reason why I must 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 work some weight off right okay and uh, Bangkok is really uh, getting back to normal amazing that's the first time in two years I've been on the subway both there and back uh, when the train was entirely full absolutely full jam-packed in you know s sardine style that's the first time in a couple of years now I, I know it's the the weekend after payday so I suspect that that's that a lot of people are out shopping where but there were also foreign tourists around lots of tourists as well and uh, so it's nice to see uh, the country getting back to some semblance of normal after a couple of years of uh, well nothing really okay let's get on with the game of Sudoku this is the New York Times hard level game and I've spotted something already but I have no idea how useful it's going to be but what I've spotted is a New York Times styly type thing I've seen this one and eight blocking these columns so I know that we have a one and eight pair here so maybe I'll try this before we go anywhere else just in case there's anything there, although I'm not sure there will be. Uh, one eight. So we've got fives here, that's going to put fives down there, that's not much use, is it? We've got threes across there, does that mean anything? Oh, no, I don't think so. Um, um, okay, so, so not particularly useful, but we'll try to bear that in mind, try to bear that in mind. Hmm, okay, <laughs> never mind. Come back and try that later. Let's go on an easy digit by digit crawl first of all. Get the easy ones out of the way, shall we? See what we've got. Okay, we've got twos blocking up uh, these columns, putting a two into that square there, and other twos going anywhere else. Um. No, maybe, maybe not. What's happening with? Well, we all know with threes, are, they're down here in these s slots here. Uh, not much else. Fours are up there, and fours going to have to appear across here, of course. So, mm, don't think so. Uh, fives. Now I know fives are there, and they're going to be down here. Um, but it looks like we don't know a great deal else about five. So let's go on to our sixes, which appear here and here, like this. We also have sixes like that. Oh, no. Not particularly great either. Oh dear. This looks like a tough opening. Nothing that brilliant. Ah, we've got ourselves an eight at least. Eight's blocking across here and eight up here. So that's where the eight goes. Uh, I already know, of course, know that eight is in these squares here, right? Uh, eight is also, ah, six and eight blocking up here. So we have a pair of six and eight here. Right, now we know four, five, nine in these squares. So nine blocking all the way down here, nine blocking down here, nine blocking across here. That's our nine. Five blocking all the way down here. Five actually blocking across there as well. Fives, fives blocking down like this. Is this going to mean anything to me? 
I have zoned these squares here, doesn't mean much to me, not yet though. Um, okay, I forgot what I said up here. This is what? 6 and 8. Uh, what was the other number? So 4, 9, 4, 5, wasn't it? 4s. How about the 4s? What do we know about 4s? Anything much? 4s blocking down like this. 4s across here. 4s blocking across here. Oh yeah, I said fours in one of these two squares, right? So I know that four must be there, because of course that we've got fours. Blo oops, fours blocking up these two columns here, right? So four has to be one of these two squares. We know that this is only six or eight, so therefore the four must go there. Okay, the nine five and gives me very much. And uh, the 6 and the 8, well, that means we know 6s are here. Now, also, we know this is a pair of 6 and 5, right? Because we've got 5s blocking like this, and we've got 6s blocking up there, and 6 blocking across here. So we've got a pair of 5 and 6 here now. Now what? Now what? Now what? We've got 1s in these squares because we've got 1s blocking across here. Oh, this was 5. Was Did I say 5 here? 5. This is a pair of 1, 5, isn't it? Uh, I said 5 was here. 5 is there. Yes, this is a pair of 1 and 5. Oh, this might be more fruitful. Hold on a second. Hold your horses. Right. This is a pair of 1 and 5. So this, these have to be 3 and 4. Great. So we've got 4 blocking down here now. So 4 is there and 3 is there. That was nice. But I've forgotten what I said. What did I say here? This is a pair of... Five and six, right? Okay. Yes, five. Okay, so actually we can get this, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Five and six is here. So what are we looking for here? It's a three. Um, and we can get this as well, can't we? Because we know everything else. We know this is one and five, and this is six and eight so this has to be four seven, seven. Okay. right okay where to now uh have i got anything more i just got this two does that affect anything up here no i don't think so Nothing down here, because I know that I have a 1 and 8 here, but just wondering if anything is affected here. I don't think it is, really. So, we must look elsewhere. Right, we have 8 blocking these two squares here in the bottom row. We need an 8 in this row. We have an 8 blocking this square, so that's where the 8 must take its place. And guess what? Look, nice, easy to see. I like it when it's nice and open like this. When you've just got two digits, 8 and 4, and, you know, you, that's very easy to see a pair like that, isn't it? I mean, for me, I find a lot of difficulty. I know you notation-free players can always spot pairs the way that they go up and down the columns or rows. But I have trouble seeing them, I don't know why, but I just do, <laughs> I really do. So now we know that 4 and 8 are in these squares here. It means that we have 7s uh, in these squares. Is that going to mean anything? Probably not that much. Um, 4, 8. So 2s are here, like this. Hmm. Ah, forget that for the moment. Let's do this instead. Eight blocking up here, eight blocking up here. Let's put in the eight in the top row. Uh, that's that's more important, isn't it? Now the missing digits here are six, five and six. 
Um, can we get this here? Yes, we, of course we can get this number here. We know this is 1 and 5, so the missing number here must be a 6, I believe. So I have got something along here. I said this is 4 and 8. So we'll forget 4 and 8, or we won't forget them, but we'll you know, position them firmly there. And then we've got 6 and 7 blocking across. Oh no, we've got 6s up there. I tell a lie. Sorry. 6s are in those squares. This is 5 and 6, isn't it? So 5 and 6 here. 4 and 8 here. 6. Uh, um, two and th no, not three. <laughs> Just two here. Oh, the three's already got twos. Nines, no fives, no. Damn, can't get. It. Damn, I was hoping to find some, something there, but no, not yet. I haven't spotted it yet. If you've already spotted it, congrats. But not me, not yet. Let's keep working. Uh, is there anything? I've got two and a six here now. So uh, let's come back here and think about this. Does this mean anything? So we've got sixes are going to appear in these squares here. Down here, do we know anything about six? Mm, damn, it's that horrible pattern again. Like this, right? Annoying. Right. I think I'm spending too much time in the wrong places. Sounds like it should be a novel or something. Um, need to adjust my thinking. You know, I keep thinking that because I've got limitations here, there must be the way forward, but I don't seem to find it. So I should probably look down here instead. Let's see what's going on, um, shall we? something I think it's pretty tricky too okay I love it I've spotted something I think really nice okay we've got one and eight just this is to remind you of something I said earlier we've got one and eight blocking up here so we know that these cells must contain only one or eight now the five blocks up here right and then the five has got to be in one of these two squares so we have five blocking all the way down to the bottom row but guess what we've also got a two blocking this square so this can't be two and can't be five and here we need two five and six so it's not two it's not five it has to be a six and now that's good because we've got ourselves an extra six along here six goes there and six is one of our missing numbers from the top here right so six obviously is blocked there that's the six this was a five i needed Oh, 
Okay, very slowly, I know, but you know, inching forwards, inching. Um, uh, the six also now, right now, I said this is one and eight, just to remind you, one and eight are here. So six blocks up here and six blocks across here. So that's our six. Oh, this lunchtime, heavy lunch has done me a power of good. <laughs> it's sharpened my, must be the fish. Don't they say fish is good for the intelligence? <laughs> I don't know if I think it is, but anyway. Uh, right. So anything else? We've still got threes in those squares there. And any more news on three? Not yet. Ah, but five blocking down this square here. We need a five in the bottom row. I should have continued that thought when I was doing it before. Two is the last number in the bottom row. I could have continued that when I was doing on that thought, couldn't I? But I didn't. As is my want. Okie dokie, this 4 and 8, you know, these pairs have really come in useful. This 1, 8 up here and this 4, 8 here have been really useful to me today. 4, 8 are here, right? So 2 blocking up here and 2 blocking across here, that's where the 2 must go. Now 2 down here, 2 across here, that's our 2. 2 across these 2 rows and the 2 down here will put 2 here. And 2 down these 2 columns will put 2, the final 2 in fact into that location there. Now let's come back and see if we can do anything more now with this lovely 4-8 pair that's given us lots of help. Uh, well, no, 7s are going to be there. It doesn't really help though, does it? Uh, 7, 9, and f 7, 9, and 1 are the missing digits, so... Ah, right, back. Oh, no, 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 no. Forget that, I was jumping ahead. See, get too enthusiastic. <laughs> Let's continue in a more sedate way. Don't get over enthusiastic, please. Okay, missing digits here are one, seven, and nine. Bear with me, seven blocks down here. 7 is in one of these two squares then, right, here or here. So this cannot be 7, it can't be 1. If it's not 1, it's not 7, it's got to be 9. It has to be you. Uh, then 9 blocking down here and 9 across here gives us a 9 in that square there. Now I need to look somewhere else, I suspect. Well, maybe I should do this. I haven't clicked on the digits for some time. Let's see. Oh, this one over here looks like it might be useful. I don't know, though. We've got one blocking up here. Um, that's going to put one, a pair of ones here, right? Have ones here. No, <laughs> uh, can't get my way out that. Two's done. Three. What are we looking at? Um, three blocking down here. So threes across here. So this can't be 3, 3 now limited to these squares, and like that, still not good enough. Hang on a minute, 4 is one of the missing numbers here, I didn't realise that, 4 blocking across here, well, that's our four, and now seven blocking down here. That's the seven, 
And that's the three. It took me a while to see it, but that is life. Now, three blocking up this column means that three is in one of these two squares. So this cannot be three. This cannot be three. And we already know that this is our one and h, right, from earlier. So three is there. Hope you're remembering this. Um, I am doing a good job on remembering today. Like I said, maybe it's the fish, but I'm um, doing better than normal, better than I usually do, I think. Right, now more to do though. Not finished yet, mustn't get ahead of myself. Okay, not okay, no, yes, okay. <laughs> right, this is one and eight, so our five block in here puts a five into that square and then the last number here which is neither one nor eight it will of course be a four right now four blocking across here with the fours up gives us four to place there have we not finished the fours yet but we know but we can now with the fours like this this is the last one i believe oops last one i believe <laughs> helps if you work i panic when i hit the wrong key um Okay, three and seven block this square, and that puts three and seven into these two squares. Or you could just look down there and see what's missing. It's three and seven, so six will be in this square here, and now six blocking across these two rows. That's a six, and this will be the last digit in this column, and I've forgotten what that is, but it is in fact a five. Okay. Um, I think it's going very well, don't you? Um, all right, let's uh, click on some of the remaining digits to see what's what. Nope, that's still not finished. Next unfinished digit is three. Nope, next unfinished digit is five. Ah, five blocking here, there's our five. And the final digit to get here is a nine. Nine blocking across here, and nine blocking up here, that's our nine then. Nine down here, nine across these two rows, and nine up here. That's a nine there, that's the finished nine. Across the finished nine. Uh, what was I doing? How far did I get? I can't remember. Fives I was looking at. Fives. Can we do a bit more on fives? Yes, we can. Fives block across these two rows, and five down here puts a five into that square there. Now, five down here. Now, I had the three blocking down here as well, so now I know I've got a pair of three and five here. Well, that now can't be 5, so 5 must appear in that square there. Well, 1 appears here. I've got to finish this game without pencil marks now, for sure. Uh, 1 goes there. And this I know is 3 and 5, so this has to not be 3 or 5. In other words, 7. One more digit for this column. I think that's an 8. 8 blocking across here puts an 8 into that square. The last number here is a 1. Um... This is one and seven. What's missing? Oh, three, eight, okay. Uh, no, three, five, sorry, three, five. Okay, so we've got five blocking down here, so that's where the five goes. This is where the three, three goes. Three blocking up here, three across here, that's our three. Three across here, that's our three. The last number to get here is a seven. Seven blocking this way, so this is a seven. The last number here is a 1. Great. Now 1 obviously blocking that square. So this is a 1. The last number here is a 7. You can find it on the keyboard. keyboard. 7 blocking up here. Here's a 7. And to finish today's game, a 1. Well, okay. I enjoyed that um, because it allowed me to play without pencil marks, but without being too much of a, a terrible headache as it sometimes is because I could find uh, pairs 
uh, um, going along the columns in particular here and uh, here for an 8 and the 8 and 1 here were very useful to me all the way along there. That's it. Uh, I'll probably be back later with the LA Times. Why not? Bye-bye.